हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डायरेक्ट एंड इनडायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कंटोरिंग स्टार्ट विथ डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कंटोरिंग कंटोरिंग इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इनटू टू मेथड्स द फर्स्ट इज डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कंटोरिंग बाय रेडियल लाइंस एज वी कैन सी इन द फिगर From a single station, we are draw different different radius, and from this radius, we have to draw the contours. So how it is performed? First of all, it is used for hilly region. Wherever there is a hilly region, and we can use a single point to do all the survey, we use radial lines. So we have to establish a station point from where. we can control the whole survey work now after this we have to set up a leveling instrument we can use auto level dumbbell level third light any instrument we use after that we required a follower we will go at the site and follower orders so a follower with a leveling staff now what we have to do first of all we have to find out the hi height of instrument and the rl of your station point suppose rl of my station point is already known which is 70 m by knowing the rl of your station point now the next procedure is we have to divide the circle into known angles for example we are dividing it in 45, 45, 45 degree angle. After this, now what we have to do? We have to draw a line starting from zero, 45 degree, 90 degree, and so on. After drawing these lines, we have to send a follower with a leveling staff in hand, and we have to tell him. walk on this line and we have to observe him continuously as we have to get the reading of 60 the difference is 10 so if we are talking about centimeter it will be 10 cm so whenever we get the reading of 10 cm on your leveling staff we have to tell him to stop so it went for the contour of that particular point is lying on 60 contour interval so contour interval we have to fix as in this case we have fixed the contour interval of 10 10 then the follower again walk away from your center we have to continuously watch him we get a reading of 20 that will be my next point Because the contour interval of ten, 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 so we have to observing continuously, and we have to ask him to stop whenever we get the reading in the multiple of ten. So after this, on same line, it will continue and mark point of fifty RL, then forty, thirty, so on. So at a regular interval, because the contour interval is six, so at a regular interval, we have to continuously observe in that particular line. And ask him to stop and mark the points with different color flags. After this, we have to guide the follower on next line and ask him to follow the line by continuously observing him. Again, after ten, we have to stop him and ask him to mark the station with the same flag which I have used for previous points. So by using different color flags we will plot the points according to your instructions so we have to follow the same procedure till we complete the circuit so after this just we have to use a pencil and join the points of same flag on the ground so i to go and join the points of same 
flag on the ground and these lines will represent what contours of required rl that's why this is known as direct method by radial lines direct method because we are plotting the contour on field directly we are not using any sheet or anything we are drawing the contours on the field directly that's why it is not direct method and we are using radial lines for doing it that's why it is known as what direct method by radial lines so it is the simplest method we can use on field directly where the area can be eliminated completely now the next method is indirect method now in indirect method there are again two methods first method is by squares as the name indicates you have to divide the whole plot into same equal size of squares for example if the plot is 20 meter by 20 meter then we have to divide the plot into 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter plot or by 5 meter by 5 meter meter plot likewise over here as you can see in the figure we have a plot of known size we have to divide this plot into equal squares after dividing the plot into equal squares now what we have to do starting from your first point for example suppose it is my first point 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have to give it numbers in a snake pattern after giving the number to each point likewise what is the next procedure from A station drawing from where the maximum points are visible. All all the points are visible. We have to separate our leveling instrument. Whether it can be auto level, dumpy level, or your theodolite. Do all the temporary adjustment. Make your line of culmination completely horizontal. Now, use the follower. Ask him to go and stand on each point, starting from your zero point. So on zero point, he will stand. And we have to bisect the leveling staff on that point and take out the readings, which will represent what the height of that point from ground. So accordingly, what we have to do? We have to ask the follower to go on each point and we have to calculate the readings and then we have to tabulate it in BS, IS, and FS format. First reading always keep in BS and all intermediate readings will be in IS and the last reading will be in FS. So we have to enter the reading into leveling book. So you have to go on each point and take the readings till the last point in snake pattern only. The way we have given the markings to the points. After taking out all the readings, now we have to calculate the RL. The RLs can be calculated either by using HI method or we can use rise and fall method, whichever is suitable for you. So this method is generally used to find out RLs of a small plot where the ground is nearly plain. For undulated ground, this method is generally not suitable. So we have to use plain grounds. And we have to divide the whole ground into equal number of squares with equal size and then on each junction point we have to get the rl of it this is your square method also known as block contouring now the next method which is also indirect method these are known as indirect method because we are taking out the readings on ground and then sitting and getting the calculations in your classroom or your laboratories and then we are plotting the shade that's why these are known as what indirect methods but in the direct method we are drawing the shades as well as the contour on the ground itself now next is by cross section as name indicates now next is by cross sections as its name indicates we have to use cross sections to finding out rl so we have to divide the whole area into number of cross sections of known interval for example in this figure as we can see 
we have divided the whole area into cross sections of suppose no distance 10 10 meter cross section we have taken and by taking 10 10 meter cross section what we have to do we have to follow a center line cl that is your center line from a center line on left hand side and on right hand side at a known distance for example 5 meter 10 meter on left side same 5 meter 10 meter on right side we have to take the readings so in this case we have to divide the area into sections whereas in by square method we have to divide the area into small small squares so set up your instrument at a point of known elevation from where you can establish all the points or from where we can command the whole survey from this point we have to calculate the height on leveling staff on each point starting from your center line suppose the line of 0 meter so middle reading then on its right and left so how will you write it O L1 L2 R1 R2 likewise then 10 meter L1 L2 R1 R2 and so on so we have to take first of all the reading on the center line then towards its left then towards its right at known distance if the distance is more you can increase the number of readings depend upon the accuracy required and precision required so interval can be 1 meter 2 meter or interval can be 5 meter 10 meter depend upon the length of the survey and the time available to complete that particular survey work so after knowing the height of each points we have to then find out what rl of each point either by using hr method or by using rise and fall method after knowing the rls now we have to draw the sheet and convert it into a scale 1 is 200 suppose then we have to mark cross sections first by using center line then write down the rl of each point likewise as you can see over here we have to write down the rl of each point after writing down the rl of each point now the next step is we have to draw contours in previous method also we have to draw contours after plotting the rls now how will you draw contour for example in this case now we have to draw a contour of 71 what we have to do we have to first decide which point so 71 contour we have to draw so we have to first establish the points to which it will be passed see over here 70.84 and 71.22 somewhere between these two points there will be a contour of 71 so we have to actually first mark these lines from which the contour of 71 will pass now how will you exactly plot this point for plotting this we have to use what method of intersection so how will you use the method of intersection i will explain you shortly for example your point is 70.84 and 71.22 between which we have to plot 71 okay three points so if the distance between two cross section is for example 10 10 meter so i will take it as 0 and this will be 10 i'm talking about this block only single block so the distance of 71 will be x meter from your 0 and this will be 10 right so now we have to find out the value of x simply use 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 equal to 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 so likewise 3 mother third reading so third reading is 71.22 minus first reading is 70.84 upon second reading 71 minus 70.84 equal to same for this side third minus first upon second minus first so by solving this we will get the answer of x 
which will be within the limit of 0 to 10. For example, it is 4.5 meter. So, this 4.5 meter from what? From 0 point. 0 point which what? From 70.84. So, by using scale, we have to mark 4.5 centimeter and this will be the exact point of 71 RL. So, by using this method, we have to plot or intersect the point between each lines and then by simply join this point will get the RL or the contour line of 71. Same we have to draw for 70, 69, 86 likewise. If the contour interval is of 1, 1 meter then we have to draw the line at every meter. If the contour interval is of 5 meters then you have to use 71, 76, 81 likewise. So over here as you can see we have drawn a contour of 71, 70, 69. So, the contour interval is 1 meter. And you can see over here, the 70 line is passing for this. Whereas, over here in the center, we can see some close contours. It indicates what? There is a depression or there is a hill. So, how will you identify? So over here as we can see in center the higher values are inside or outside the higher values are outside it represents what it represents there is a depression and whenever higher values are outside it will represent what it will represent a hill so likewise by using direct and indirect method we have to draw contours lines thank you